Yaskawa. <laughs> This video shows how to reset the MPIEC controller to factory default. Here's a quick preview of the steps to come. The controller is set to default through the Hardware Configuration Online menu, Controller Configuration Utilities. One reboot and all data is wiped from the controller except for the IP address. Now let's go through the procedure in more detail, as outlined in the MPIEC Quick Reference Guide, document number QRG.MP2000IECSeries.01. I'll be demonstrating this using our off-site training demo station, a perfect example of a controller that is used for many different applications. If your controller is new, please see the controller's setup video. Resetting the controller to default is only useful if you move the controller from one application to another, such as on demo equipment. I have the web server up, confirming my connection to the controller. And I've started a new project. Now open hardware configuration. Type in the IP address of the controller and test the connection. In this case, 192.168.15.23 and connect. In the Configuration Comparison dialog, it doesn't really matter which you choose since the controller will be reset anyway, so I'll choose the offline configuration. To reset the controller, we need the Online menu and Controller Configuration Utilities, but it is grayed out because we need to be offline first. Disconnect, then go to the Online menu and choose Controller Configuration Utilities. Choose Restore Controller to Factory Defaults, then Reboot Controller. Click Execute to reset the controller. As the message states, all data in SRAM will be erased, but the servos are not affected. Click OK to proceed. You're now prompted to reboot the controller, so click Yes, and the controller will reboot. The ready light will turn on, but the run light will not turn on because there's nothing to run. The controller has been reset. The IP address is not erased, so you still have connection and you can still go online in the hardware configuration. If you're setting up a new system, watch the video that shows how to reset the connected servos to factory settings and reset the alarms that are related to a first time startup. Thanks for watching this video, and remember yaskawa.com slash IEC for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.